Well, hello and good afternoon. I'm Pandy of Pandy's Hair Candy and More. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. If you are already chat family with me, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping back by. Over here, for the most part, I do talk about hair, both natural hair as well as weaves. I also do product reviews, TV show reviews, hauls, uh, family friendly game nights, you know, um, demos, and just general commentary. Um, I also offer a trending topics series where I pretty much offer a commentary on trending topics and headlines that are currently plaguing us in our local communities as well as abroad. Um, and I also just recently introduced a new segment to my channel lineup called Ask Pandy. And that is where it's more engagement, active, where you, the subscriber, the viewers, can actually chime in in the form of an email submitting your questions, and I pretty much answer them in the form of a uploaded video. So that is me in a nutshell, guys. Again, I'm Pandy, and I want to thank you for taking a moment to take time out of your busy day to stop by and visit with me for a little bit. I assure you, I won't be before you long. I am excited because I was introduced to someone today who I found extremely phenomenal, um, had such a way of articulating her words and sharing the information and tips that I have been trying to get out, but haven't quite found a way to formulate the words. And it was just a pleasure to be over at the Information Man Show's um, live stream earlier this afternoon, where he had a special guest. Um, her name was Eileen Smith. Um, I am going to link her YouTube channel information in this video because I find that she was very informative and like myself I know there are a lot of other smaller content creators and youtubers here on the platform who have questions and you know things of that nature and she just has such a plethora of information as far as tutorials and things over on her channel that we can glean so much information from and just learn so much information. So I want to share um, something that I learned from a couple of her videos that I watched today because several people who have supported my channel here on YouTube have been asking me these very questions and I have felt bad because I knew how to do these certain things during my live streams, especially with regard to StreamYard. However, I didn't know how to go about putting into words what it was that I was doing. And the last thing I want to come off as, as ingenuous or, um, you know, greedy or stingy about sharing information, anything like that. You all know I am a part of the Drop the Link Day team. I try my best to help others with um, cross-supporting and connecting you with others who may be in the same niche or whatever the case may be. So it's never that with me. Okay, it was simply, okay, these are things that I've kind of learned. I don't really know how I learned. I guess just playing around with them. And I really didn't have the words for you know, instructing or guiding someone else on how to get to the destination, if that makes sense. So I hope that helps. If not, drop down in the comments below and let me know what's on your mind. 
Okay, and we'll try to work through it. So without further ado, because I don't want this video to be very long, again, I want to share a little bit about Miss Eileen Smith. And so I'm going to read directly from her About Me section on her YouTube channel. Uh, Miss Eileen Smith is, says is a live stream, live streamer, blogger, podcaster, YouTuber, social media diva. My goal is to help you make more meaningful content for your audience that keeps them engaged and coming back for more. Now, that's just the first paragraph. I'm not going to go all into um, her about me section. I strongly encourage you all to take a look at her platform and subscribe to her platform and actually follow. Um, she shared so much information over there. Like I literally was so glad that I was off work today and actually chilling at home. Information Man always sends me the links um, in my DM. I usually get them on my um, notification as well. But here lately, I have not been able to catch a lot of his lives because usually I'm at work. I would have been at work this time of the day until about five, six o'clock in the evening. So that was a blessing. So I chimed in because I knew it was something that I would want to, you know, it was something that interests me. I'm always interested to learn what I can learn about how to better navigate my social media presence. And like I said, a lot of people have been approaching me um, both in person, online, through email, through social media, asking me questions about StreamYard and particularly, I don't know why people feel like I have this expert level of StreamYard tricks and tips. I promise you and assure you, I do not. I literally have been learning as I go. And when I find something that works, I just take it and I run with it. And so I never really knew, like I said, how to articulate that and put it into words. So I'm going to share with you all today um, what I learned and I'll say what I knew, but I didn't know how to quite word it. And I hope that this helps someone who may be considering starting their YouTube channel. You know, you may not have the ability to go live on your cell phone um, because, you know, you don't have your 4,000 watch time hours or your 1,000 subscribers. You can definitely go live through a third party app like StreamYard. And I strongly, I strongly recommend that you do it. Also, even if you do already have your 1000 subscribers and your 4000 watch time hours, these tips may be beneficial to you as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the notes that I took from what she was talking about. So today's topic is StreamYard tips. The 10 top features to maximizing your experience on StreamYard. Now, first of all, I don't know if any of you all know. I'm sure most of you know, but a lot of people don't because I get this question quite often. Well, how much does it cost? How do I sign up for it? You don't sign up for StreamYard. StreamYard is actually a browser based application. OK, so. Let me start with number one. Number one is test your setup. Test your setup. Now, how often do we see people's live streams come up, mine included, and it says test or testing? What she explained today made so much sense, and I felt a little embarrassed because I know I have done this. We see people's live streams come out into the atmosphere all the time with the title saying testing. Well, clearly it's not a test because it's out in the public and everyone can click into it. And usually they do. And you end up telling them 10 times, I'm sorry, this is just a test. Well, what she's suggesting is test your setup in a private group, either in a private link that you sent to just yourself or someone that you trust that can help you critique it. Um, you can do a private chat on StreamYard with just you and somebody else that you've sent the link to. You know, do it in private. This way you can check your lighting, your audio, etc. Make sure everything is on the up and up. Okay. 
Number two, you can create your custom branded overlays. And again, this is with the paid version of StreamYard. You all, if you are seriously on YouTube and you are seriously trying to grow and you have a goal in mind and you know that you're working towards monetization, I implore you to utilize the paid version of StreamYard. It is $25 a month. That is a fairly minimal fee to be able to use these exclusive features, you know, that will, again, help you to maximize your experience. Also, in the description box of this video, I do have the referral link where you can get, um, I want to say it's either 10% or $10 off of your first month. So that's an incentive, you know, to save you a couple of dollars on at least your first month. But honestly, that $25 a month, I budget it out. I make sure it's in that account. I know when they're going to take it and it's $25 a month. Therefore, I'm not limited to how many times I can go live per month. And I have the ability to utilize these features like right now. I'm recording this on StreamYard in a podcast format. I would not be able to do that with the free version. So definitely, definitely, that is one of the featured benefits. You can create your custom branded overlays. And that's, again, only with the paid version. Number three, you want to make sure that when you're using StreamYard for optimal performance, and especially on a desktop, you want to be in Chrome. If you are on an iOS um, say like an iPhone, an iPad, then you want to utilize Safari. You know, just keep in mind that when you go that route on Safari, your results could vary from an iPad to an iPhone. I don't know why it's an Apple thing. Number four, you have the ability to utilize the green screen feature. Okay, now keep in mind the green screen feature can be hit or missed but you have the ability to utilize the green screen feature. And that is such an awesome tool because let's say like me, I do a lot of product unboxings. I do um, Dollar Tree hauls. I do trivia live streams. Well, I can put the Dollar Tree store behind me on the green screen and really have my broadcast appear that I'm actually standing outside the store. Or if I do a Family Feud-themed uh, trivia night, I can have the actual Family Feud board game up behind me on the green screen. So again, as long as you've got the right lighting, the green screen feature is a awesome, awesome feature when utilizing StreamYard, okay? Now, number five, you do have the ability to invite up to 10 guests on the screen with you. I don't necessarily know that I would ever bring that many people up, but it is an option. And I know for me, I plan to move into doing more one-on-one -on -one guest features and interview type lives. So that's awesome. You know, um, however, you just want to be mindful um, that if you are going to take advantage of the ability to bring up that many people, you want to, as the host, set a protocol so that you're not in a situation where the guests are speaking over top of one another. It never looks or sounds good when you're sitting watching the playback. You can't tell who's talking. You can't differentiate because it just sounds like a bunch of people screaming. Okay. Number six is... You can host your stream from your mobile phone and your mobile, I'm sorry, your guests can also join from their mobile devices. So you don't have to be on a PC or a laptop to utilize StreamYard. You can literally do it from your phone. Um, I was doing that when I was trying to get my initial monetization. I was going live right from StreamYard on my cell phone, literally at work, a lot of times I would be in my cafeteria where I worked on a break or before work, 
and I could utilize the avatar so that no one would be privy to the background surroundings. And that is such an awesome feature. Now, there are some pros and cons to that. You do pick up a lot of background interference and feedback, and your guests can bring a lot of background noise and feedback, depending on what's going on in their background. However, um, you can always have them mute when they're speaking. So, number seven, you have the ability to swap the placement of your participants on the screen. And I think this is a huge feature and a huge benefit, especially if you're ever going to be in a situation where you have panel guests and it's at least two or more people, because let's say you have a panel of four people, you can pretty much drag and drop to, you know, maneuver the placement of the guests on the panel. So that's an awesome feature. Number eight. Um, you can control the audio level for all participants. So again, let's say there's feedback coming from guest number three out of four. Well, you can mute that person. Now, the downside to that is they can always unmute. But you have the ability to control that. Or let's say guest number two's mic is very low. You can adjust the volume as the host. So you have that level of control. OK, um, you can definitely control the audio levels for all participants. Number nine, you can record a video without going live, which is what I'm doing now. I am actually recording this video in my StreamYard, utilizing the benefits of StreamYard. I'm utilizing my avatar um, picture, my branded logo up in the top corner and my banner um, ticket which is streaming along the bottom so you can definitely record without going live in StreamYard paid version of course okay and <laughs> number 10 this is a huge benefit for those of you who may be podcasters um, you can download the MP4 version, which is your video, or your MP3 version, which is your audio files. Um, and you can repurpose them and download them and basically send them over to whatever other platforms that you may be going and doing your podcast on. And you don't have to format them. StreamYard does all that for you right when the uh, stream ends. Okay, so that is a plus. And then that was pretty much the top 10 features of utilizing StreamYard and how to maximize all of the features so that you're getting the best experience out of your live streaming. So I hope that that helps you all. I, I know a lot of people have been asking me these questions. If there is an issue that maybe there's something that you still have unanswered or you would like additional clarification on please drop down in the comments below and let me know or like i said i do have the axe pandy feature um you can go to any one of those videos and my email is listed there in the description box or you can contact me on instagram i will be happy to answer any questions or point you in the right direction if i don't know i am going to go ahead and bring this to a close Again, I'm Pandy of Pandy's Hair Candy and More. I hope this has helped you and you all stay safe out there, stay encouraged. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.